Okay, in this one we're given one side and two angles. The two angles here are 33 and 90. We know the right angle is 90 degrees and one side there obviously 18 and we're told to find the third angle and the other two sides. Okay, the third angle, which in this problem is called alpha, this is really easy because we know that all three angles have to add up to 180, which means these two have to add up to 90. So alpha is just 90 minus 33, which comes out to 57 degrees. So no trouble there. Now we need to find the other two sides. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at this 33 degree angle. And look at side B over here. That side is opposite my 33 degree angle. And then this is the hypotenuse. So I know that the sine of 33 degrees has to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's going to be B over 18. And here's a little equation with one unknown, the B. So I can just rearrange this to solve for B. B is equal to 18 times the sine of 33 degrees, and that comes out to 9.8. Okay, now once you know side B and the hypotenuse, you can find side A with the Pythagorean theorem, but it's actually easier to use the trigonometry. This is really pretty short and simple. The Pythagorean theorem would involve a lot more steps, so I'm going to go ahead and use trigonometry here to find side A also. Look at the 33 degree angle. A here is adjacent to the 33 degree angle, and this is the hypotenuse. And when I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, I think cosine. So the cosine of 33 degrees is adjacent, that's A, over the hypotenuse, which is 18. So solving that for A, A is 18 times the cosine of 33 degrees, and that comes out to be 15. And that's a lot quicker and easier. Once you get used to using these trig ratios, the sine, cosine, and tangent, that's a lot quicker and easier than the Pythagorean theorem. And it involves fewer steps, which means fewer opportunities for error. So that's the preferred method in that case. And here we're given a diagram and we're told to find angle alpha, side A, and the hypotenuse. Okay, so we're given this angle here, that's 49.72 degrees, and we know the 90 degree angle, and this side is 11.28. So what can we find here? Well, if we know 90 degrees and this, then we can find that. These two angles have to add up to 90, so alpha will be 90 minus 49.72. Pretty easy. That comes out to 40.28 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to find uh, side A here. Okay, look at this angle, 49.72. This is the opposite side, and that's the adjacent side for that angle. So I know the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 49.72 degrees has to be 11.28 divided by A. 11.28 divided by A. And then I can rearrange this. I'm basically going to take this and this and switch places. That's my little algebraic rearranging of that equation. So I get A is equal to 11.28 divided by the tangent of 49.72 degrees. And I do that on the calculator and it comes out to 9.559. Okay, and then I need to find the hypotenuse. Now once I know A and this, then I could do the Pythagorean theorem, but again the trigonometry is quicker and easier, so I'm going to do it with trigonometry here. I know that this angle alpha here, no actually I'm not going to use angle alpha just in case I've made a mistake calculating it here. I'm going to take this angle here, which was given. I know that this is not an error, because that's part of my given information. And I'm going to say that the sine 
of 49.72 degrees, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And this side is opposite this 49.72 degree angle, and this is the hypotenuse. I'll call it h. So the sine of 49.72 is 11.28 divided by h. So rearranging that to solve for h gives me this. h is 11.28 divided by the sine of 49.72 degrees. And again, on the calculator, that comes out to 14.79. Okay, and then one other thing I'll point out is that these numbers, these original numbers, were given with four digits of accuracy. So I gave my answers to four digits of accuracy. There are some specific rules that you will probably go over in science class and that we do in physics and that you also run into chemistry that tell you exactly where you should round numbers to based on the given information. But for as a rule, as a general rule of thumb, you want your, your answers to be about the same degree of accuracy as the given info. So because these were given to four digits, I rounded these answers to four digits.